the Femi Palm 2 Pro is a cheaper alternative to the DJI Pocket 2. But is it worth the money? Yes and no. Let me explain. First, if you're new here, my name is Susie and I do gear reviews and tutorials with the goal of finding the best cameras and accessories for vlogging. Now, we actually bought the original DJI Osmo Pocket when it first came out in 2018, and we even upgraded to the Pocket 2. We tried vlogging with both cameras, but ultimately, mainly because of the form factor, we use it as our B-roll camera. However, there are many of you out there, including our YouTuber friends, Alao Ocean, that really love to vlog with the Pocket because it does have really good image stabilization and pretty good image quality. So if you're interested in this style of camera but might be on a bit of a budget, this is where the Femi Palm 2 Pro comes in as an option. If you're not familiar with this style of camera, it was pioneered by DJI. It's literally a tiny pocket camera that gives you stable, high quality video footage. Now the main disadvantage to this type of camera is that it's on the fragile side and it's not waterproof or rugged. So it's definitely not an action camera, but it tends to have slightly better image quality, especially in low lighting. Now the Femi Palm 2 Pro came out in early 2022 and it's 286 US dollars compared to $342 for the DJI Pocket 2. Both of these cameras look nearly identical, but the Femi is a little bit chunkier and weighs a bit more at 5.3 ounces compared to the Pocket 2 at 4.1 ounces. Both cameras have a built-in lens that are not removable. Now the Femi has a slightly wider focal length of 14 millimeters compared to 20 millimeters for the DJI. And the Femi's angle of view is also wider at 128 degrees compared to 98 degrees for the DJI. But DJI has a slightly faster maximum aperture of f1.8 compared to f2.2 for the Femi. So the DJI is slightly better at shooting in low light and it has a little bit more bokeh or a blurred background whenever you you zero in on a subject. When it comes to image resolution, both cameras max out at 4K, but the Pocket 2 can go up to 4K 60 frames per second, while the Femi maxes out at 4K 30 frames per second. If you want to do 60 frames per second, you can do it on the Femi at 2.7K. Both cameras can also shoot in slow motion. The DJI once again has a slightly higher frame rate of 1080p at 120 frames per second or 240 frames per second compared to the Femi, which can do two times slow motion, which ends up being about 60 frames per second. And while you mainly want to use both of these types of cameras to capture video, there is a photo mode as well. The Femi can capture 12 megapixel photos while the DJI can capture 64 megapixel pixel photos. When it comes to image quality specs, the DJI definitely has a leg up. But if I look at the videos from these two cameras side by side, shot at the exact same resolution and frame rate, the Pocket 2 seems to go for a slightly brighter exposure, especially if there's a face in the shot. It keeps the exposure balanced for the face, which is actually a better approach for vlogging. But even when there's not a face, the Pocket 2 goes slightly brighter, and at times the image can look a little washed out. Meanwhile, the Femi seems to constantly be trying to keep the whole image balanced, which can be a bit tricky if there's a lot of dynamic range and your subject is moving a lot. Personally, I prefer the Femi's approach to balancing the exposure of the shot because again, we don't really use these cameras to vlog or film ourselves. We mainly use it to film the scene in front of us. So that balanced exposure suits it's our style of shooting. But for those of you who do want to try to vlog with these cameras, both of them have face detect and they are pretty snappy and accurate at finding a face and quickly focusing on it. And because they're both gimbals, you can cycle through various shooting modes to control the gimbal, including POV, pan follow, and all lock. Both cameras have a zoom feature that's three times zoom on the Femi and up to two times zoom on the pocket. Now with these smaller cameras, I usually recommend not using zoom because the more you zoom into an image, the more the quality degrades. And I think that that's slightly true here. I think the pocket two doesn't really zoom in a ton. So when it does that two times zoom, the image quality actually looks okay. And same with the Femi, but I would not go beyond the two times zoom. When it comes to battery life, the Femi has a bit of an advantage. So both cameras have built-in batteries that are not removable, but they are rechargeable. The max runtime on the Femi is 162 minutes compared to 140 minutes on the DJI. Next, let's talk about sound quality. And this is where things really start to separate. So both cameras do have built-in microphones and the DJI sounds pretty good. DJI Pocket 2 is now at 4K 60 frames per second, which is its highest resolution that it can shoot at. 
But when it comes to the Fimi, the sound quality is not the greatest. DJI Pocket 2 is now at 4K 60 frames per second, which is its highest resolution that it can shoot at. And that's because I hear a bit of a whir or a hum, and that's coming from the motors of the gimbal. And so I actually asked Fimi about this, and they just said that that's a compromise of this camera, so it's something to be aware of. So again, we don't really shoot vlogs or sound with our cameras because we're mostly doing B-roll that we overlay on top of our primary footage. So for us who do not vlog with these cameras and we don't necessarily need the built-in sound, that's actually okay. But for any of you that want to film with this camera and actually pick up sound with the built-in microphone, that might be a big deal breaker. But there is one saving grace. The Fimi has a built-in microphone jack for connecting your own 3.5 millimeter microphone. In particular, I'd recommend using a wireless microphone like the DJI mic or the Rode Wireless Go because that gives you the ultimate freedom and flexibility of having a microphone connected to you and the receiver connected to the camera. So you can have the camera be far away and still be picked up. And if you use an external microphone with the Fimi, then the sound quality goes up dramatically. This is a sound test with the Fimi Palm 2 Pro. This is what it sounds like using just the internal microphones. And this is a sound test with the Fimi Palm 2 Pro with an external microphone. This is the DJI microphone connected directly to the camera. For the Pocket 2, if you want to connect your own external microphone, you have to buy an adapter called the Do It All Handle. So that gives you the 3.5 millimeter microphone jack. And you can also buy the Creator Combo, which comes with that little handle and a customized DJI microphone that works with the Pocket 2. And that's that same concept of being a wireless mic that you clip to yourself. This is what it sounds like with the DJI Pocket 2 with the built-in internal microphones. And this is what it sounds like using the DJI Pocket 2 along with the wireless microphone. Now, if you do wanna use your own external microphone with either of these cameras, you have to get a little creative about where to mount it because neither has a cold shoe mount or a place to clip that external microphone piece. I actually like this little Ulanzi cold shoe adapter that's intended for the Insta360 cameras. It actually works pretty well with these cameras too. Now, since I mentioned accessories, let's talk a little bit more about that. The Pocket 2 has a ton of accessories, and there's even a creator combo that you can get for $500, which includes things like that do-it-all handle, the dedicated external microphone, a mini control stick, a wide angle lens, and phone adapters. Because you can actually connect your smartphone to the Pocket to give yourself a bigger LCD to shoot from. These accessories are great if you actually need them, but they do cost extra, and they are quite small, so they're really easy to misplace. On the other hand, the Fimi comes with a case, and that's it. There aren't any other accessories for it, which can be a bummer if you want them, or you can actually see it as a good thing because it keeps the camera easier to use and there's no extra expenses for it. So overall, the DJI Pocket 2 costs more, especially if you get that creator combo with the accessories. But for that added cost, you get a boost in image resolution and overall features on the camera. So if you can afford it, I would go the route of the Pocket 2 or wait for the Pocket 3, which is supposed to be coming out soon, but I can guarantee that it won't be any cheaper than the Pocket 2. However, if you're on a strict budget, the Fimi Palm 2 Pro might be a good affordable alternative for you. The only problem with the Fimi is the built-in sound quality does not sound good. I personally would not use the Fimi without an external microphone if I wanna capture sound. But again, if you're like us and you don't really care about the sound coming out of this camera because you're gonna use it as your B-roll camera anyway, then that might be okay for you. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you think the Fimi Palm 2 Pro is a good affordable alternative to the Pocket, or if you'd rather go the route of the Pocket 2, or if you're waiting for the Pocket 3. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.